Hi, I'm going to look at the basic steps of using the WordPress blog today. And I'm going to do it all as a student so it looks exactly like it should for you. So, first of all, the address of the WordPress blog to get logged on is just blog.nationaltrail.us. Once you get in there, it will redirect because the actual address you can see is wordpress.nationaltrail.k12.ohda.us. This is our base site. This is where we log in from. So once, I, once I'm on here, down here on the bottom left is where I'm going to log in. Now I'm going to be working on this particular site. And from year to year, there could be more or less blogging sites. So I'm going to hit log in. And you just put your school uh, username and password in there to log in. Now once I log in, it comes here to your profile. If you want to change anything, in this case, um, what you want your nickname to be, and your nickname should just be your first name. Um, you don't want it to show anything other than that, and that's pretty much it. You can go down and update your profile. Once you've done that, you'll be able to go to my sites right here. You've got two sites. This one you're just a viewer of, and this is the one we want to go to. So you go to the NTIT Tech and Dashboard. This is the dashboard for the site where you're going to be doing a majority of your work from. So let's make our first WordPress post. If you look at the guidelines on this one, all you really have to do is make a title, add some text, and add a picture if you're doing the first assignment, just to show you understand the basics. So let's go through the basics of adding a WordPress post. Now, number one, we have to make one. So I go down here to posts and I say, add new. If I look at all posts, I can't do anything with anybody else's posts but my own, but I can also add new here, or like I said, I can go to posts, and I can drop down to add new. So I'm going to hit add new. And just so you know, as we work on a WordPress post or as we work on a blog post, nothing can anyone else see until you publish that. Uh, and once you've published it, then other people outside can see it. So I'm going to just say my first blog post. Oh, if I can spell, it's hard to do that while I'm looking up. So I've added a title. Now I'm going to add text and a picture. That's the only thing I have to do because that's really all you're going to be doing uh, when you're blogging is you're adding text and you're adding pictures. So I'm just going to put that in. There's my first blog post to show I know the basics. Now adding a picture. But first of all, any of this text I can go and these are normal text editing tools that you probably are used to from using Google Docs or any other Google tool as well as... Um, uh, Word or any of those kind of editing tools. So if I want to underline something, I can uh, underline that. I can bold it. Okay, so I can underline that too, but under format. There we go. Okay, now I want to add a picture as well. So I'm going to add a, a picture in here. Now, picture is a little bit different. If you just drag and drop onto here, it will look like it worked. Um, but when the cache gets refreshed, it's not really there. We have to upload pictures to make them work on our um, site. So we do that through the insert tool. I'm gonna insert media. And you can see what the icon looks like there. That icon is, I thought on here too, maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna insert media. Oh, right there, add media. I can add media right there. And here's where I can drag and drop files. Let's go ahead and grab a picture and drag and drop that. I'll just go to my pictures and see if I've got a, here, we'll add the spelling bee picture. Oh, too much, too much. There we go. I'm going to drag that spelling bee picture right there. And you can see it just uploaded. So now that's media that I can use in my post. So if you had a bunch of pictures, you could take and drop them all in there at one time and then use them after that. So I've added that media. Right now it shows all the media I have available. This title is what will show up as you hover over it. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna say import into post. And there, there it is. Now I can resize this. Just so you know, when we resize media here, it does not 
actually change the size. It just changes, changes what we see. So if I were to import a humongous picture in here, I may want to add a thumbnail of it instead of just throwing the picture in here. Because if I take a big picture and shrink it down, it's still going to load that big, huge picture. It doesn't matter um, what, it, what it looks like here. Okay, I hit the edit button and that's where I can go and set how I want this set up. And I can also have it link to the actual media file. So for instance, if we wanted to make it so this was something that they clicked on to see the big size picture, which is what I just did, I just click the edit and then say, it said, go to the uh, media file. So if I go and want to see what this looks like right now, I can get in preview. It's going to open up a little preview and I can click on that and look, it opens up that, that other file that, that I look at there. So if, for instance, if you had a big picture of a, of a um, motherboard and you wanted to, them to be able to see the big picture, but you wanted to in your post, always we should be using small pictures so it's very succinct. And then if users want to go click on something else, they can. Uh, I also am going to go there and let's see if advanced options. I want to open the link in a new tab. I always want to do that. I'm going to go back there and I'm going to save draft, which I didn't do. And then I'm going to preview and now it should work. So if I click on that, it opens in a new tab. And in a blog, the idea of a blog, and if you ever start one, blogs are there for people to make money. Um, they're also there for people to use as a personal CV or um, resume for technology or it or whatever you want to do, um, so that people can find your presence online and can find out more about you. The last thing you want when people are trying to find out about whatever you're talking about is for them to leave your site. So every link, every picture, if you can click on it, it needs to go to a new tab, never to leave like I did when I first added that on there. And again, to make that change, I clicked on the media, I hit the edit button and then it was down here in advanced. It wasn't up here in the in the other picture. By the way, I can make it go to a whole nother picture. It doesn't have to go to this one. Um, I went to advanced and I said open link in a new tab and then I hit update. I, I then had to save the draft and then open up a new preview to get that. That's the basic first post. I'm going to go through all the other things that we can do in a post uh, in a more advanced video next.